guys, it's Nina here with Heroes Born Homeschool Academy. In today's lesson, we're going to talk about the virtue we call gentleness. Gentleness. We'll do this in our text comprehension worksheets. Are you ready to learn? I am too. Let's begin with the word of prayer. We thank you, Lord, for this time we have to learn and grow. We seek to do the best we can and add to what we know. We love you, God, with all our hearts and to others' love we show. Pleasing you is our goal. Now to our lesson, we shall go. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Well, if you have your English language arts workbook, you may go ahead and pull that out at this time and turn to page 171. That's 171. Today we're learning about the virtue we call gentleness. Gentleness. Have you ever heard someone say, be gentle? Be gentle. Yes, sir. Declaring this over you, gentleness. Let's look at the dictionary to see if we can define gentleness. And here we have gentle. It's a two-syllable word. You see the central dot just between the N and T, gen, tall. The G is beside an E, making it a soft G sound, which is the J sound. Gentle, gentle. It's an adjective, and it means having or showing a kind and quiet nature. Having a strong, kind of quiet nature. Number two says, not hard or forceful. Is that good? Not hard or forceful. Um, we are told, or when we tell others to be gentle, we're saying, yeah, don't be hard, don't be harsh. Be gentle, be careful. Um, quiet and, and not so sure about the first definition, but the second one fits very well, at least for the sake of my using it in my home with my children. Be gentle, like be careful, but don't be harsh, don't be hard. Gentleness, let's see who else had to learn about gentleness in our reading today. Maria called Mr. Chan. Would you like a second try at feeding the kid? Maria smiled. Yes, sir, she replied. More carefully this time, Maria took a baby carrot and gently placed it inside the cage where the baby rabbits lay. The entire class watched as the kit took the carrot and began to eat it. Having finished that carrot, Maria was told to give the kit another. So Maria gently slid another carrot into the opening of the cage to feed the kit. Maria, you were very gentle with the kit this time around. Thank you, said Mr. Chun. Maria the monkey smiled and proceeded to her chair. Good, good job, monkey. So you're meant to draw the main characters in the story. You can draw Mr. Chun and you can also draw Maria. Don't forget the kit and the carrots. I think the carrots would be a nice touch. Although it's not necessarily a character in the story, it'd be great for the purposes of the setting. And then it says at the very bottom, right about the time you display gentleness. Right about a time when you had to be gentle and display gentleness. So a few questions for you. What does it mean to be gentle? What is gentleness? Hmm, gentleness. Not being hard or harsh. That's right. Taking care, being patient and calm. Does God show gentleness toward us? Have you ever thought about that? God does. God is very gentle with us, um, especially um, for people who are always asking him to uh, to do one thing or another. They're always what we call you know, seeking the face of the Lord. He's absolutely gentle with his creation. And uh, do you think he expects us to be gentle with, with others? Yes, he expects us to be gentle with our um, with each other. You may want to display gentleness to people in your family or to people outside your family. And uh, you can do that just by taking care, being mindful, and not being harsh. Have you ever had an opportunity to be gentle? Yes, yes. I think at one point, most people, young and old, have had at least some opportunity to display gentleness. Do you think that that pleases the Lord? It does please God. And remember, since God is gentle with us, he wants us to be gentle as well so that we can reflect his character, reflect his nature, and look like our Father God. 
Um, we can do this starting with our thoughts. Think gentle thoughts. And words can be also gentle. The scripture says a gentle word can break a bone. A gentle word can break a bone. So even words can be, can have gentleness in them. And um, subsequently our actions will follow. Would you agree? I would too. Well, I'm so glad you came to class. Thank you so much for learning with me about the virtue gentleness in our text today. But until next time, God bless. I'll be your hero's body And as you study With heroes born I will be your friend So don't you